Good morning, everyone. Today, for devotion, we're going to take a break from looking at many of the favorite Bible verses that you have been sharing. And instead, with it being the day after Good Friday and the day before Easter Sunday, to take a look, to, to go back and consider, well, what life was like for uh, the disciples on that Saturday. Or consider how one of the Marys were feeling on this Saturday, the day after Jesus has been unfairly arrested, beaten, mocked, crucified, and died. Their friend, teacher, child, dead. How are they feeling on this Easter Saturday? While the Bible doesn't tell us a lot of the happenings on this day, we do get some insight as to how that day might have gone. And so today I want to share with you a verse uh, from John chapter 20, verse 19. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews. The disciples, well, they were together. The doors were locked, living in fear. Living in, in fear of the unknown, of what the future held. Living in fear of not knowing if they were going to be the next ones to die. And so what did they do? They sheltered in place, hunkered down. It would be safer that way. And while the circumstances are certainly different, doesn't that sound quite familiar? familiar to today as we are told to shelter in place to hunker down it'll be it'll be safer this way as we are told not to to gather on this uh, holy week this good friday easter sunday told it'll, it'll be safer this way just stay at home shelter in place now i want to read the rest of the Bible verse, John 20, verse 19. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. This Easter is unlike any other, as we are told to shelter in place. But we don't shelter in place living in fear. We shelter in place living in peace. We live in peace of knowing that the tomb is empty. We live in peace of knowing that Jesus got out of the grave, conquering sin and death. And now Jesus stands among us and says, peace be with you. And so on this Easter Saturday, as you go into your Easter Sunday celebration, may that, may that be a reminder of that first Easter. As yes, the disciples were sheltered in place, living in fear. But may your focus be on Jesus, who came and stood among them and overcame their fears. Jesus comes. He stands among us. He says, peace be with you. That peace with God is yours. It's yours now and always. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we ask that you strengthen us to not live in fear, but to live in peace. Assure us that despite all the, the things that happen in the, in the world around us, that we have no need to fear, but instead we can live in comfort. We can live in comfort of knowing that you conquered sin and death for us because you got out of the grave. We ask that you give this life-changing peace to a world that is filled with fear. Lord, we also thank you for uh, Barb's son, Rob, and the healing that you have given to him, that you have cured him of this coronavirus disease. 
Lord, we thank you for watching over him, protecting him, and may you continue to protect all of us. Keep us healthy and safe during these times. Lord, we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Just one announcement. Of course, tomorrow, Easter Sunday, we will be posting our, our Easter Sunday worship, uh, Sunday school lesson uh, for children on Easter Sunday as well. In addition to our service, uh, the Wells uh, Synod will be putting out a joint or um, an area-wide, nationwide uh, worship service that will be available at 6 o'clock. Uh, that is when it will be live, and I believe it will be archived as well. But once again, that is at uh, 6 o'clock tomorrow. So in addition to our worship service, you can celebrate. And what could be a really neat thing? Uh, a nationwide, worldwide uh, Easter Sunday celebration with uh, brothers and sisters living unified in faith. That is all for now. I wish you God's blessings on your day. And happy Easter to you.